He's animated, the craziest musician out there. On this episode of The Treehouse, we'll see if Scott Wood can rise to the challenge at Wee Bowling. Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Treehouse. Today, um, we're having Scott Wood on the show. Um, this is the show with fun games, fun guests, and fun consequences. I love fun games. You love fun games? Yeah, the fun ones. Only the fun, is this a fun game to you, Wee Bowling? Uh, yes. Okay, well I feel like we're pretty set then. Yeah. Um, Scott Wood is an animation major and musician here at HU. So mm -hmm. we're just gonna get into some bowling, but I wanna point out ahead of time, because this is very important. We're doing a funny consequences this week. It's different than anything we've ever done. So you're kind of our guinea pig on okay. this. Funny um, consequences. Funny consequences today. You are okay. correct. Right. Dire consequences. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, the loser of today's game will have to wear a t-shirt for the entire week that is drawn on by the winner. So um, I don't know about you, Scott Wood. But I have a semi-professional job here on campus, and I don't really want to wear a t-shirt that you draw all week. So I'm going to be doing my best to uh, beat you, but we will see. I'm really bad at this game. So oh. good luck to you, but yeah, not really. I, I feel like you're going to like hustle me. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Like, I, I wish that was my tactic. However, I like... am just bad. Look at that. I do that every time. Anyway, um, Scott, I've heard many rumors about you. Good right. ones, all good things. Okay, um, good. That's I have promising. heard that you were telling some <laughs> prospective students that may be on a campus tour about Slop Night. Yes. Um, could yes. you just get into that a little bit? Please tell me what Slop Night is. It's been a while. Um, so, <laughs> basically, I was just walking with my friend Colton, and he gets embarrassed super easily, and I just wanted to, like, you know make him feel as uncomfortable as possible. So I was wearing this tie-dye t-shirt and I walk up and I'm like... Is the tie-dye t-shirt important to the story? Um, well, kinda, because <laughs> it made me look like a crazy person. Nice, okay. Uh, and basically I was just like, hey, what's up? Are these the perspectives? And I was like trying to talk like a tour guide and I was like, excellent. So today we have, uh, have you heard of Slop Night? And I was like, so basically we just take a bunch of DC food, grind it up, dump it on the mall, <laughs> and then whoever eats the most is crowned King Piggy and gets greased up and slid down Himes Hall. And like about halfway through, the perspective started walking away from me, <laughs> which like, I don't blame them, but I was gonna get my story out. Colton <laughs> is like white in the face, right? He's like dying laughing. And, uh, yeah. He didn't want any part in that. And that was probably the biggest group of perspectives I had ever seen. <laughs> like, so you had to tell them. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm hoping at least one freshman asks about Slop Night. I don't see how they couldn't. That, would, that memory would stick in their head forever. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Beautiful. Uh, speaking of things I've heard about you, I've also heard that you run a fruit club here on campus, is that true? You wanna right. dive into that yeah, a bit? Yeah, so this kind of started just as like a floor thing where I'd buy like a crate of exotic fruits. It's like this male thing I do. Exotic or it's like this male thing that hmm. does like it. Like a subscription? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and so we just meet and just eat a bunch of crazy fruits. What is the craziest fruit that you've ever gotten at Fruit Club? Well, one time, we ate this fruit and we didn't know what it was. And it was like this sort of soft, mushy fruit. We were like sucking on it and we were like chewing on the seeds, right? And then we figured out what it was. It's a cherimoya. And apparently the seeds are poisonous. So <laughs> if you eat high enough amounts, right? Um, was there, has there ever been a death in the fruit club? No, no. Okay, that was good. But that, that was probably the weirdest thing. And funniest thing too, that was probably the most delicious fruit we've ever had. Highly recommend Cherimoya. Oh gosh. 
See, that don't would, eat the that seeds, would though. scare me. Yeah, please do not eat cherimoya seeds or you will yeah. die. Yeah. Scott would. Well, no one did, but you know, you might if you're weak willed. <laughs> nice. Oh, yes. You you gotta you gotta just get a little bit worse for me. Because oh. I am not okay. doing so hot. If you could just like dial it back a bit. No, I'm just kidding. Um <laughs> I appreciate that. No problem. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I've also heard, man, I just, maybe I need to get to know you better because everything I hear about you, I, I love. But um, basically, yeah. I've also heard that you make music. Right, yeah, yeah. So basically, I just like sort of tinker around with different like instruments and stuff. And um, I just try to create like the weirdest sounds I can and, you know, make music out of that. And that's really fun. Uh, so Where yeah. do you make your music? Um, just in my dorm room. Okay. You know, at home. I don't home really studio? have like a. I don't really have like a formal studio. It's just like three guitar pedals on my desk, but like that's enough. It doesn't take a whole lot. I guess to, whatever works. Yeah. What is the craziest, wackiest item you've ever used to make music? Because I've uh, heard you use some wacky stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably the craziest thing I've used has to be a um, easy button mm. where I basically took it, added an audio jack to it. Like it's called circuit bending where you take something and you like replace components. And I also made it so that you could increase or decrease the pitch. Mm. And basically I made it so that it just would slow down and stretch out the, that was easy <laughs> sample to be like 10 minutes long. And I created minutes. like this, oh shoot. And I created like this, uh, ambient thing out of it, so. Interesting. Well, um, oh gosh. Here, you finish this, and then we'll see. Who wins? I'm so scared. I really, I'm sure you will do great drawing a t-shirt, but yeah. I am terrified just a bit. Um, ooh, okay. So it looks like, did I win? Is that what that says? I think I won. Nice. Well, sorry to Scott, but okay. um, coming up after the break, um, I'm going to be drawing a t-shirt for Scott to wear for the rest of the week, and I am by no means an artist. So, uh, we will see, but, um, yeah, stay tuned after the break. <laughs> Scott Wood, and I make weird uh, music and sound effects. I've always been fascinated by people who've just done things like in weird ways. It doesn't matter what tools you use, you can always, you know, make something. It's not for every anyone. It's <laughs> it's not for anyone. Yeah, I, that's actually kind of true. But yeah, if you do happen to enjoy my music, like I really appreciate that. Uh, and if you don't get it, then I don't blame you. Uh, try to keep an open mind, I guess. Like, this is gonna be weird, you know? Um, and if you don't like anything about it, like try to see what you don't like about it and try to improve upon that in the stuff that you make. It will be the best music you will ever listen to, ever. Welcome back to the treehouse. It is the moment we have all been waiting for, mostly me. Um, this week's punishment, like I mentioned, um, is going to be drawing a t-shirt for the opposite person. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing for Scott while I also ask him some rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, who would you cast in a movie about yourself? Uh, probably like Jonah Hill, I'd say. I can um, see that. But like I'd have to get him fat again, you know? <laughs> So, you know, I'd probably like break his spirit before the set, so. What should be the next Pepsi flavor? Pepsi flavor? Yes. Uh, they should just make Pepsi uh, clear. Clear Pepsi? Yeah. What? Oh wait, no, they already made that. <laughs> oh, what? shoot. What is the best type of pickle? 
Best type of, for what purpose? For to eat. Oh, to eat, uh, probably bread and butter. Oh, interesting. You are in the minority, I think. Um, how many times do you think you've sneezed in your whole life? In my whole life? Yes. Uh, probably like 10. 10 times? At least. Do no. you think that um, it is possible for the world to be flat? Uh, I mean, look at it, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's flat. It, I wouldn't be shocked. What is your favorite smell? Favorite smell? Oh, man. Um, water. <laughs> I, like, I like how that smells. On a scale from one to 10, how would you rate this, the taste of onions? Any onion onions? will do. Um, probably a solid nine. They, they hold dishes together, let me tell you. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Love an onion. Okay, is everybody ready for this? Are you ready for this grand reveal? Okay, this is my art. It says <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Sout. Sout? I, miss, I, I messed up the words, but I just left it. <laughs> It's funnier. Um, okay, so do you love my art or what? Yeah, I, I especially love the hearts and the frowny faces. <laughs> uh, really it's a little bit of, of everything. Yeah, ties everything together. Yes, so. I agree. All right, well, thank you, Scott, for being on the show today, and thank you guys for watching the show today. Um, if you enjoyed this and you want to see Scott wear this shirt for the rest of the week, um, be sure to stay tuned next week, and you'll get an update on that. But again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Treehouse.